like the idea of going through all the dimensions of your life and and checking them off to see, wait, have I paid attention to all of these lately? Like dimensions of life for some some listeners who may not be as geeked out on, on meditation yet. Um, you know, like relationships, emotions, finance, uh, whatever, right? All the dimensions, mm -hmm. um, spirituality, knowledge. When you go through all of them and you're like, what have I not paid attention to lately? And then you're like, and this happened to me many times. Oh, I haven't paid attention to four out of the seven or eight, depending which model you follow. I haven't paid attention to four out of them. That's why I'm off balance. Mm -hmm. So then I start to realize, wait, I need to go pay more attention to um, uh, relationships because I'm like 90% into career and finances. Mm -hmm. And then you realize that's why I'm off balance. But I like to do that. And I think journaling can also help you achieve consistency in staying balanced in that sense. Because you're like looking at it like I just did on my desk. I had to kind of think about all seven or eight. Um, but I like the idea of journaling doing that because then you, then you really visualize it and take it out of your head and judge it like objectively. Not judge it. That's not a good term for yourself. But like analyze it objectively rather than, you know, convincing yourself in your head that it's all great. You know, because you had coffee with a friend. and You know, like... <laughs> <laughs> One coffee for the week. <laughs> That's social, it. No social more. criteria check. <laughs>